the sea. All it takes to set a wave in motion is a single word and action. A hope that we can be the change that we've been longing to see. For our home, our land, our family, it's all within our reach. See this. The voices of our friends come whatever on the road ahead. We did it before, and we'll do it again. See this. Thank you for watching. My name is Pamela and welcome to Basic Yoga Flow. Um, okay, so before we get started, just stand by your usual props. Okay, it could be two thick blocks. Okay, if you don't have blocks, you can always replace them with thick books. And also a towel would be good to either pat your knees with if you know you have very sensitive knees and also to help you in just maybe a couple of the binding poses that we're working on. Okay, so just remember to pace yourself over the next 45 minutes. If you're joining me from home, rest whenever you need, have a sip of water, and then just resume whenever you're ready. Okay, <coughs> excuse me. Okay, so for today's class, we will be working on more of a full spectrum flow. So you'll do a little bit of everything, and we'll be taking more vinyasas together, which I will go through shortly as a refresher. Okay, so once you're ready, let's get started by just finding a comfortable seat on your mat. Okay, so sitting up tall from the base of your spine all the way to the crown of your head. Resting your palms on your knees, either facing upwards or down. You just see what comes naturally to you. And gently close your eyes. You're just sitting quietly for the next couple of minutes. 
Once you allow your body to settle in. With the space between your eyebrows soft and your jaw relaxed. And you observe your breath moving in and out through your nose. And just keeping your breath smooth and steady. And just practice same count breathing. So take equal time to inhale, maybe five or six seconds. And same amount of time to exhale. Try to also just let go of any thoughts and any distractions. Just let the next 45 minutes be time for you to practice and you be fully present both physically and mentally on your own mat, wherever you are. Nice, a couple more rounds here with your eyes still closed. Very gently, blink open your eyes on your next inhalation. Nice, now with your eyes open, let's continue with a seated side bend. So walking the right hand out towards your right side. Okay, so I'm not doing a mirror image. Okay, so my right hand is your right hand. <laughs> Stretch your left arm overhead. So you're reaching through your left fingertips. Keep the right shoulder soft away from your right ear. And left hip stays down. Nice. Option to stay here, so my right elbow is just bent slightly. Option two, if it's accessible for you, lower your right forearm down completely to the floor. Okay, so you're keeping the size of your waist along the left side. If your neck feels okay, feel free to look up. Otherwise, maybe look forward or look down. Okay, and if your forearm is on the floor, I think about pressing the floor with your right forearm energetically. Inhale, back up to center. Other side, walking the left and out to the left now. Slowly stretch your right arm overhead. Again, so reaching through your fingertips. Stay here or maybe lower your left forearm down to the floor. Okay, keep the left shoulder away from your left ear. Nice, and again, right hip stays glued down. Breathe. Nice, now inhale back up to center. Okay, one more seated twist. Place your right hand over your left knee. Left hand on the mat behind your back. Okay, so just keep your fingers pointing backwards in line with your spine. And your next inhale, lengthen from the base all the way to the crown of your head. Exhale, gently twist from your navel upwards. And as you twist, again, you want to keep your ribs and belly in. And just lightly press your left thigh with your right palm. And you keep the shoulders level, collarbones broad. Release your twist, look to the front, other side. Left hand over right knee, right hand on the mat behind your back. Again, take an inhale, lengthen. Sit up a little bit taller, left hand presses into your right thigh, and on your exhale, twist towards your right side. Okay, so if it feels okay, you can look past your back shoulder. Nice, now release your twist, look to the front. From here, come into hands and knees. Okay, so you're in a tabletop position, so stacking the shoulders on top of your wrists with your knees in line with your hips. Spread the fingers wide. So if you need to at this point, you can pat your knees with a towel. On your next inhale, you want to tilt your tailbone upwards. Arch your back. Okay, so we're going to do about four rounds of cat and cow. Draw the shoulder blades closer together. Broaden through your collarbones and look forward or look upwards. Now exhale, tailbone lengthens down. Round your back. Press the floor with your palms, chin to chest. Okay, and spread shoulder blades away from each other. Nice, now three more. Inhale. Tilt your tailbone upwards, arch your back, shoulders away from your ears, look forward or up. And on your exhale, round, press the floor away, chin to your chest. Okay, two more. Nice and easy, moving your breath again, inhale, arch your back, tilt the tailbone upwards, 
And on your exhale, round, press the floor away. Okay, so think angry cat here. Last set. Slowly inhale. Tailbone lifts, shoulders away from ears. And on your exhale, round, press the floor away, chin to your chest. Coming back to neutral spine. Once you're back here, find your plank. So you're going to stack shoulders over your wrist in a high push-up position. Okay, so keep your legs straight. Grip the mat and you just want your index to continue to point forward. Okay, and look at your own fingers. Are you pressing down the inner edges of your palms? From here, lift your hips high. Finding your first downward facing dog. Okay, so for this afternoon. Next nice up with your feet about hip width. Hands stay shoulder width. Hips will now be at the highest point of this inverted V-shape. Okay, you can either stay in stillness or move in any way that feels natural to you. Okay, so perhaps bending one knee and straighten your other leg, pressing the heel down into the mat. Okay, just do it a few times. Okay, so some of you might also choose to lift both your heels and lower your heels down to your right. Come back to center and heels to the left. And back to center. And perhaps also shaking and nodding your head here like you're saying yes and no. Okay, so strong arms here. Again, press the floor away, lengthen through your spine, lift the hips high. Nice. Now from down dog, okay, let's all shift forward to plank. Okay, so this is the little vinyasa that we will be taking throughout our class today. Okay, so plank pose. Drop your knees down to the floor. With bent elbows, start to lower your whole body all the way down. Okay, so your elbows are bent and pointing backwards. You're not flaring your elbows out to the side. Once you're flat on the mat, point your toes back. We're going to roll up into a baby cobra first. Okay, so inhale to lift. So shoulders away from ears, hug your elbows in. Press down through your thighs, shoulders away from ears and look forward. Nice. Now from baby cobra, you're going to push back up. Downward facing dog. Okay, so we'll be doing lots of this in today's class. <laughs> it's a from down dog. Bend both your knees slightly. Look forward at your hands. Walk your feet forward. Coming all the way to the top edge of the mat into a forward fold. Okay, on your next inhale, halfway lift. Flat back. Exhale, fold forward. Root to rise, push down through your feet. Slowly roll up. Vertebrae by vertebrae. Okay, sweeping your arms overhead towards the ceiling. And on your exhale, hands to your heart center. Very nice. Now from here, let's continue with sun salutation, modified. I'm going to throw in a few poses there. Inhale, stretch your arms up towards the ceiling. Exhale, fold forward. Swan dive now. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, hands on the mat beside your feet. Can you now step your right leg back? Okay, big step back to your right leg. Nice. Now drop the right knee down to the floor. Anjani Asana, lift your chest up on your inhale. Okay, so if you need to, pat your right knee with a towel. You can stay here. Again, hands are pressing onto your left thigh. If you're comfortable, stretch your arms up towards the ceiling. Okay, so you can think about lengthening your upper body upwards. Breathe. Squeeze in the thighs together and descend your hips. Nice. Now from here, lower your fingers down to the floor. You might need blocks for this half split. As you start to straighten your left leg, you're going to shift your hips back to straighten. Keeping your right thigh vertical. Okay, hang on, let me pat my knee. Okay, so keeping your right thigh vertical. So knees in line with your hip. Both hip bones are facing forward. Take another breath here. Inhale. Exhale, we fold forwards. Okay, so folding over your left leg. Again, if this is hard for you, your fingers can't touch the floor. Grab your blocks. Place them on either side of your left leg. Again, it might be the lowest height, middle height, tallest height. Okay, so we'll be tipping forward from hips, feeling that stretch in the back of your left leg. Nice, now inhale, halfway lift here, pause here. Okay, so keep your right hand wherever it is, whether it's on the block or the mat. Just lining up your right wrist with your right shoulder. Twisting on your exhale towards your left. Half split twist, stretch your left hand up. Okay, so reaching out to your fingertips here. Hugging the thighs together, maybe looking up at your lifted hand. Nice, now release your twist, left hand on the mat. Rebend your left knee to ground your foot. Okay, move the blocks out to the side first. We're going to step back to a downward facing dog. To do so, lift your right knee, slowly step your left foot back. 
Okay, so come back to your inverted V. Nice. Now from here, shift forward to plank. Okay, so remembering what we did earlier in our little easy vinyasa. Knees down to the floor with control. Start to bend your elbows, lower your whole body all the way down. Nice. Now point your toes back. For this second round, option to come up into a higher cobra or you can stay low. Okay, so option one, low cobra. Option two, a little bit higher. If you're coming into a higher cobra, you're not shrugging shoulders. Shoulders back. Think about lifting chest forwards and upwards. Micro bend your elbows, press down through your thighs. Nice. And slowly lift your hips back, push back to a downward facing dog. Okay, nice easy breaths here in down dog. Nice. And look forward at your hands. Bend both your knees. Again, just take your time. Tiny steps or one foot forward at a time, all the way to the top edge of the mat. Forward fold. Again, inhale. Halfway lift. So halfway lift, fit, uh, hands could be on your shin or fingers on the mat lightly. Exhale, fold forwards. Rising up, press down through your feet and slowly roll up. As you sweep your arms overhead and maybe looking up at your lifted hand. And exhale, hands back to your heart center. Okay, so that was run, one round on your right side. Let's complete it with your left side. Inhale, stretch your arms towards the ceiling. Exhale, fold forwards. Here's so your fold forwards again, hinging forward from your hips, fold. Inhale, halfway lift, fingers on shin or fingers on the mat. Exhale, fold a little bit deeper. Palms on the floor beside your feet. Step your left leg back. Huge step back. Again, drop your left knee down to the mat or pat your knee with a towel. Rising up, take your time. Okay, so as you stay here again, hands can be on your right thigh for now. As you square hips forward, squeeze the thighs together, descend your hips. Okay, so stay here, hands on the thigh or stretch your arms up. Okay, so reaching out through your fingertips. Feel tall here again, you're lengthening upper body upwards, lower body starts to ground down. Next, now lower your hands down to the floor, half split. As you straighten your right leg, you're going to shift your hips back. Okay, so hip bones are facing forward, flex your front foot. If you need to, place your blocks on either side of your right leg. Okay, take a breath here, inhale, exhale, fold. Okay, so as you're folding again, you're not rounding. All right, think about lengthening your spine. Think about reaching your chest towards your right toes. Okay, and as you stay here, you're driving down through your right heel and feel as though you want to drag your right foot back energetically. Nice, now inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Okay, so keep the legs in the same shape. Place your left hand just below your left shoulder, half split twist. Twisting on your exhale now is to stretch your right hand up. Okay, so my hips aren't shifting again. Hips are still facing forward evenly. You're still driving down through your right heel and dragging your right foot back energetically. Release your twist, right hand on the mat. Rebend the knee to ground your foot. Slowly stepping it back to a downward facing dog. Okay, so lift your left knee. Step your right foot back. Okay, so from down dog, again, that is easy vinyasa. Shift forward to plank. Knees down to the floor. Gently lower the whole body all the way down. Okay, so you're not going to flop down. Point your toes back. Hands on the mat next to your chest. Roll up. Cobra. High or low, your choice. Okay, so micro bend your elbows. Drag your palms energetically towards your feet and press down through your thighs. Nice. Now lifting your hips back and up. Down dog. Okay, from down dog, and bend both your knees slightly. Look forward. Step. Or big steps, small steps forward. Come to the front. Inhale, halfway lift. On exhale, fold forwards. Press down through your feet and slowly roll up. Okay, stretching your arms towards the ceiling. Exhale, hands to your heart center. Nice, okay? So you're going to just switch it up a little bit in this second, uh, in a second set. Okay, different standing poses now. Okay, so with your feet about hip width distance to start. Chair pose. Okay, so start to bend your knees. So if your knees are popping forward, again, that's your cue to shift your hips back. Just think like you're sitting on the imaginary stool behind. Stretch your arms upwards. So keep your biceps next to your ears if you can. Hold here. Again, nice neutral pelvis. Ribs and belly in. Nice. We're going to add on from here. Hands to your hips. 
Okay, easier. Start to shift the weight to your right foot. Okay, so your right foot that you're balancing on, you want to spread your toes, grounding down through all corners of your right foot. Can you try to lift your left heel to your bum? <laughs> okay, careful here against the left heel to bum. Nice, you're still balancing your right leg. We're going to come into a warrior three from here. Okay, so it's a little bit more flowy now. Tipping forward from your hips. Start to extend your left leg back. Okay, so warrior three is like a capital letter T-shape. Ooh, if you fall like me, just come back, okay? So from here again, from chair, if you fell out, slowly. Squeeze the left heel to bum. Tip forward, straighten your left leg back. Okay, so hips are even. Nice, now left knee points down. Now you can continue to keep your hands at your hips or bring your hands to your heart center. Okay, so think about extending from the left heel all the way to the crown of your head. Wherever you are, flow into the next pose, bend your right knee. Slowly step your left foot back. High lunge. Stretch your arms up. Nice, okay? So hips squaring forward. Bend into your front knee more. Back leg straight. Lift your left heel and reach out through your fingertips. Nice. Now from here, lean forward. Finding your resting warrior. Okay, so more 45 now. Hollow the belly. Keep your back leg straight. Nice. Can you bring your hands together to touch in prayer? Take an inhale here. Exhale, twisting across to your right side. Okay, so hooking your left elbow outside of your right knee. You are not collapsing. Okay, so it doesn't have to be a super deep twist. Elbow that touches your knee or thigh. Revolving your upper body towards your right side. Can you bring your hands to your heart center, thumbs close to your chest. Release your twist, hands on the floor. Okay, so you want your hands to be framing your right foot. Keeping this distance between your legs, start to straighten your right leg. Again, under hamstring pose. So if your hands don't quite touch the mat anymore, grab your blocks, you can just place them on either side of your right leg as such. Okay, otherwise, hands on the, uh, hands on the floor. Flex your front foot, square off your hips. Take an inhale here, and exhale, fold. Okay, so I just like to lift my back heel for this variation of pyramid pose. Nice, and with both your legs straight again, you're not hyperextending the front knee, keep your knees soft. And feel as though you want to crumple the mat between your legs energetically. Nice, and next inhale. Halfway lift, flat back. Rebend your right knee to ground your foot. Okay, so we're back to runner's lunge. Can you place your left hand on the mat just below your left shoulder? Twisting on your exhale towards your right, stretch your right hand up. Your easy twist. Nice, okay, so front knee still bent to a square. Back thigh stays lifted. Twisting a little bit towards your right and maybe looking up at your right fingers. Lower your right hand down to your right hip, slowly. Lower your left knee down to the floor. Again, if you need, please pat your left knee with a towel like I'm doing so, stepping your right foot back to an easy side plank. Okay, so as you spin that left foot out, okay, so I missed my step, spin that left foot out first towards the left side edge of the mat, step your right foot back. Nice, okay, so as you step your right foot back, just try to line up your left wrist with left knee and arch of your right foot. Stretch your right hand up. Nice, okay, so easiest variation of side plank. We're going to add on from here, Push down through your left knee and your right foot. Can you lift your torso upright to center? Okay, gate pose. Flip your left arm up in here. Exhale, sweep your left arm overhead. Okay, so resting your right hand lightly on your right leg. Nice, now roll again, left arm back. Square shoulders forward. Keeping the ribs and belly in. Okay, if you're comfortable, look up or forward or even down. Nice, now inhale, back up to center. Exhale. Left hand on the mat, add, add on, okay, so early on we kept the foot down for this side, okay, for, for this round, can you float your right leg? Okay, so this resembles half moon, this is a baby version, we're going to work on half moon later. Okay, so flex that foot or you can point or floin. Now option one, you stay here with your right leg straight. Option two, coming into a modified Japasana. So you're going to bend your right knee to your chest, reach back with your right hand, Point that right knee back. Okay, so your right knee will be pointing towards the back edge of the mat. From here, start to kick your right foot away from your bum. Okay, so we did, I'm sure we did, uh, we just worked on this pose, I think maybe last week or a couple of weeks back. 
Okay, so kicking your right foot away from your body. Press the floor with your left palm. Again, you look wherever feels comfortable. Nice. Now, those in this Chopasana, you're going to re-straighten your right leg back to half moon, slowly. Lower your right foot down to easy side plank. Nice. And lower your right hand down. We're going to step back to a plank pose from here. Okay, so pivot on the ball of your right foot and straighten your left leg back. From plank now, knees onto the floor. Easy vinyasa. Bend your elbows, gently lower the whole body all the way down. Point your toes back, roll up into a cobra. Okay, so you can chest forward, shoulders away from you, it's not shrugging. Hug your elbows inwards and lift your hips back and up. Downward facing dog, go back. Okay, so coming back to your inverted V. Nice, now bend both your knees, look forward at your hands, step forward slowly, come back to the top edge of the mat in a forward fold. Again, inhale, halfway lift, flat back, exhale, fold forwards. Rotate to rise, push down through your feet as you roll up, slowly stacking your spine, sweep your arms overhead, bring your hands to your heart center. Okay, so we've completed the right side, let's do everything on your left side, if you remember the poses. Batting into your knees, come into a chair pose. Okay, so again, in your chair, hips back, knees and second toes in line. Slowly lower your hands down to your hips. Okay, so start to shift the weight to your left foot. Pick up your right heel, okay, slowly. See, so you're balancing it on your left leg. Can you now float that right heel, maybe squeezing it to your bum more? Okay, without moving your hips, so hips are still square. Extend your right leg back as you tip your body forward more. Okay, so finding a warrior three. Slowly, okay, so spread your left toes wide. Kick your right foot back. Your hands can remain on your hips or hands to heart center. Okay, so capital letter T-shape. Slowly stepping back to high lunge, so bend your left knee. Touch down with your right foot. Stretch your arms up. Okay, so if you touch on your right foot and you don't have that wide enough distance between your legs yet, then just adjust here, maybe slide your right foot back more. Stretch your arms towards the ceiling. Okay, so bend into the front knee, feet hip width, power through that right leg. From high lunge to resting warrior. Lean forward to a 45 degree angle now. Roughly, yeah. Okay, hollow the belly. Biceps next to yours, squeeze inner thighs together. Hands to heart center in prayer. Take a breath, inhale. Exhale. Twisting across towards your left side. So your right elbow will be hooking outside of your left knee. Hands to heart. Nice. Are you still keeping your ribs in the belly in? Can you bring your thumbs close to your heart center? Release your twist. Hands on the floor, framing your left foot. Pyramid pose variation. You're going to straighten that left leg. Flex your front foot. Square off your hips. Okay, so left hip back. So both hip bones are facing forward evenly. Take a breath here, inhale, exhale, fall over your left leg. Okay, so again, back heel can stay up. Drive that left heel down into the floor, drag it back energetically. Some of you might be able to bring your belly close to your thigh. If you can't, it's fine. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Rebend your knee to ground your foot. Nice, it's okay, so an easy twist. Right palm on the mat. Twist towards your left on your exhale, stretch your left hand up. Okay, so right hand is just below your right shoulder, back thigh lifts, left knee points forward, maybe looking up at your left fingers. From here, left hand holds left hip, lower your right knee down to the mat. Okay, so if you need to, pat your right knee with a towel. Okay, taking this into your easy side plank. So step by step, first you spin your right foot out towards the right side edge of the mat, so it forms a kickstand. Extend your left leg back. Okay, so just lining up again, right wrist with right knee with left foot. Body is facing the left side, stretch your left hand up. Nice, now from here, gate pose first. Push down through your right knee and your left foot, lift the body upright. Once you're upright, you're gonna flip your right palm up, inhale, exhale, sweep your right arm over here. Okay, so left hand is light on your left leg. Reach through your fingertips. Okay, steady breaths, again, rips in. Coming back up to center. Lower the right palm down to the floor, slowly. Baby half one, okay, easy half one. Float your left leg up. 
case again you're not sticking your bum back hips moving towards your left ribs in stay here option one option two chapasana you're going to bend your left knee reach your left hand back with your uh, reach, your, reach for your left foot with your left hand. <laughs> Point your left knee backwards. Start to kick your left foot into your left palm. Okay, so kicking it back. You're coming into a nice back bend again. Your chest is moving towards the right, uh, left side, foot towards your right side. Those in Chopasana, you're going to re straighten your left leg back to a baby half moon. From here, lower your left foot down. Lower your left hand down, stepping back to a plank. How is that okay? So come back to a high push-up position. From here, knees on the floor. Easy vinyasa. Lower the body all the way down. Point your toes back. Hands on the mat next to your chest. Roll up into a nice cobra. Again, so elbows back. Chest forward, press down to your thighs. And lift your hips up and back. And downward facing dog. Nice, okay, so even though I queue for an easy vinyasa, again, you're always welcome to skip it and just go straight back to a down dog. Nice, now stay here for a moment in down dog. Okay, just taking this time to check in with your breath. Okay, you can continue to lift three or four arms. Keep your upper arms externally rotated and you're pressing the floor away. It's so important again, press the floor away with your hands. Very nice. Now from here, I'm going to add on, just switching up a bit. Lift your right leg up, three-legged dog. Okay, so keep keeping your hips square, right leg lifts. Look forward at your hands. You're going to step your right foot forward and land it softly between your palms. Of course, if it doesn't go forward all the way, just pick your right foot up with your right hand and step forward. Ta-da! Okay, from here, without coming up, turn your whole body towards the left side edge of the mat. Okay, I'm just going to flip around so I can see you. Okay, so your toes will be pointing towards the long side edge of the mat. Keep your feet parallel to each other. Now the inhale here, lengthen. Exhale, prasarita, folding forwards. So as you fold forwards, you're hinging forward from your hips. For those who can, your hands will be on the mat. If your hands aren't on the mat, grab your blocks, okay? So have something to rest on. If it's comfortable for you, feel free to walk your hands back so they line up with your feet. Or even walking your hands past or back, okay? Walking your hands further back away from your heels. Nice, okay? So ground out through all corners of your legs, of your legs, of your feet. <laughs> Drag your feet together energetically. Nice. One more big breath here. On your next inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Okay, so just coming up very slowly. Bring your hands back to your hips first. Push down through your feet and slowly rise up. Okay, again, letting your hip be the last to come up. Once you're upright, warrior two. Turn your right foot forward. Bend into your right knee. Nice, okay, so left leg straight. Lining up your right heel with the arch of your back foot. Okay, and you want to keep your left foot parallel to the back edge of the mat. Stretch your arms out. So you can just gaze softly of your right fingers. Give you're holding the pose, not your breath. Let's reverse. Flip your right palm up, inhale. Exhale, strip your right arm over here. Reach it back. Okay, so left hand is light on your left leg. So notice this is quite similar to gate pose, like what we did in the first set. Nice, now inhale, back up, warrior two. Side angle, okay? We're gonna just do supporter side angle today. Right forearm on your right thigh. Sweep your left arm over again. Okay, this is a nice long line from your left heel all the way to your left fingertips. Again, so spin, left shoulder back. I see, so you're not collapsing. And you think about revolving. So the right rib, that's your bottom rib now. Revolve your right rib under and up. Nice, now inhale, back up, warrior two, briefly. Straightening your front leg. Trikonasana. Okay, so you're welcome to shorten the stance slightly. So I like to heel. So my back foot in once, keep your body facing the same direction. Start to stretch your right hand to the front. So reaching your right hand forward as you shift your hips back, reach forward until you cannot reach anymore. And lower your right hand down to your ankle, maybe shin, or maybe your block. Okay, so you could also use a block, right hand on the block. Stretch your left hand up. 
Okay, so left hand reaches up. Nice. Now straight legs, not hyperextended. Same thing, you can revolve your right rib under and up. Breathe. Nice. Now left hand to left hip. Going to practice your half moon. So earlier on, we did that easy version, baby hip half moon. Let's try the little more adult version of half moon. Okay, not adult, some full expression of your half moon. Now bend into your right knee. Walk your block or walk your hand about one foot in front of your right little toe. You don't have to kick up straight away. Your left foot, you can shorten the stance first, step forward halfway. Take your time, shift the weight to right foot, float your left leg. Okay, so it's more of an open hip pose, so your body's facing your left, slowly. Okay, option one, you can stay here, hand remains on hip. Option two, stretch your left hand up. Nice, okay, so option three. For those who want to do a little bit more, you can practice Chapasana. So bending your left knee like what we did, reach your left hand back. Take your time, no rush here. So left knee is pointing backwards now, and start to kick your foot away from your bum. Okay, those in Shapasana, we straighten your left leg back to half moon slowly. From here, all you have to do is just square off your hips, step your left foot next to your right, and fall forwards. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, fall forwards, plant your hands on the floor, step back to a plank. Okay, so yogi's choice, you can flow through that vinyasa together with me or just go straight back to down dog and wait. If you're going through the vinyasa, knees down to the floor, lower the whole body all the way down. Point your toes back, cobra, inhale to lift. Okay, so chest up, again, hug your elbows in, press onto your palms, drag your hands back energetically and lift your hips back and up, downward facing dog, go back. Okay, just pausing here for a moment in down dog. Why oh, I changed my orientation to the other side. Okay, so down dog. Okay, so if you remember those poses, let's do everything on that left side now. Inhale, lift your left leg up. Three legged dog, straight leg slowly. Nice, now look forward to your hands. Exhale, step your left foot softly and gracefully forward between your palms. Without coming up, just turn the whole body all the way towards the right side edge of the mat. Okay, so adjust your feet. Can they be parallel to each other? Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forwards. Again, so as you're folding forwards, can you shift the weight more to your toes? Walk your hands back a little bit more, even or having have your hands go past your heels. Maybe bringing the crown of the head closer to the floor. Okay, so pressing down through all corners of your feet and drag your heels together. Next inhale, halfway lift, flat back, pause here. Bring your hands to your hips, push down through your feet and rise up slowly. Once you're here, turn your left foot forward, bend into your left knee, warrior two. Again, so if you need to go wider, go wider. Ankles below wrist, lining up your left heel with the arch of your back foot, front knee bend. Okay, so if this is too much for your knee, again, just soften that bend, stretch out through your arms. Okay, so steady gaze, steady breath. Let's reverse, flip the left arm up, inhale. Exhale, sweep your left arm over here, reach it back. Okay, so right hand is light on your right leg. Continue to keep the front knee bent. Nice, now inhale back up, warrior two. Pashvo Konasana, side angle, supported version. Left form on your left thigh, stretch your right arm overhead again. So reaching through your fingertips. Nice, continue to revolve your left rib under and up. Inhale back up, warrior two. Triangle pose, trikonasana. Straighten your front leg. Shorten the distance between your feet slightly. Okay, so hips are still facing right side of the mat. Just lean forward, reach your left into the front. Again, like you want to grab something in front. Lower your hand down to your ankle, shin or mat or block. Stretch your right hand up. So don't worry about how low your left hand is. Okay, you still want to think about lengthening the left side of your waist. Okay, so I'm going to use a block. Okay, nice. Okay, I reach up to your right fingers. I feel like someone's pulling you up. Right hand holds right hip. Getting ready for half moon, that balancing one. Bend your left knee. Block or not, walk it again. You want it in front of your left little toes, not inside. Right foot steps forward halfway, slowly. Okay, and start to shift the weight to your left foot, float your right leg. 
carefully. Okay, so looking down is a lot easier for balance. Of course, if you're super balanced and you want to challenge it, look upwards. <laughs> Take your time, step by step. Option to straighten right hand upwards or even keep it on your hip. Option, final option, Chirpasana. That back bend, so you're going to bend your right knee, reach back with your right hand. Slowly point your right knee back, kick your right foot away from your bum. Okay, so using the strength of your leg to kick back into this back bend shape. If you're in Chopasana, start to re straighten your right leg back to a half moon first. From half moon, square off your hips here. So turn your right hip downwards, step your right foot next to your left, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. On your exhale, fold forwards. For this round, bend both your knees. Slowly sit your bum down. Navasana. Just a tiny bit of boat pose. Not holding too long. Don't worry. Knees into chest. Okay, keep your spine long. Sit up tall. Options. Okay, you can maybe just hold the back of your thighs lightly. If you can, stretch both your hands forward. Spread your toes. Nice. Collarbones broad. Continue to breathe normally and maybe soften your face. Okay, hold for five, four, three, two, and one. Feet on the floor. Lower the body all the way down. <sighs> nice. Now, once you're on the mat, setting up your legs for bridge pose. Okay, so feet hip width and parallel to each other. Hands on the mat beside your body. Push down through your feet and start to lift your hips. Lift that lower back. Upper back, lift the chest towards your chin. Okay, so as you stay here, you can choose to interlace the fingers beneath your back. Roll elbows and arm bones closer together. So just using your mind's eye, can you try to stack your knees more on top of your ankles? Okay, so you're pressing down actively with your feet, lifting the chest a little bit higher towards your chin. Nice, and without letting your knees Splay open. You want to try to keep your knees hip width or feel as though you're squeezing a block between your legs. Slowly lower your bridge. Lower your body back down to the floor. Softly. Nice. Now once you're back on the mat, bring your knees closer together. Stretch your arms out sideways. Okay, so if you don't have space to straighten your hands, you can always do cactus. From here now, move the hips slightly towards your right. Lower your knees down to the left. Okay, so nice supine twist before we take Shavasana. Okay, so hips move slightly to your right, knees to your left. Here, yeah, look past your right shoulder. Okay, so keeping the right shoulder on the floor. With your left hand, you might just want to maybe rest it on your right thigh. If you can, bring your knees a bit closer to your chest or belly. Slowly come back to center. Other side. Yeah, so moving your hips slightly to your left. Lower the knees down towards your right. And looking past your left shoulder. Okay, so option to bring your knees a bit closer to chest or belly. Could be resting your right hand also on your left leg. And it's your left shoulder pressing down into the floor. Bring your knees back to center, slowly. Nice, and finally, hug both your knees into your chest. Wrapping your arms around your shins. So just hugging tight like a ball. And you now lift your head up gently as you bring forehead or nose to your knees. So giving yourself a final squeeze. And let it go. Hey, you've come to your final and most important pose of this afternoon, Shavasana. Straightening your legs to, and separate your feet to the width of your mat. Hands away from your body. Palms facing upwards. Once again, with eyes closed, start to soften the space between your eyebrows. Soften your jaw. And just let your body be completely still, completely present, so you're not falling asleep.
and just let your body absorb all that you've done in the past 45 minutes. Okay, for those of you who have a little bit more time to spare, please stay a little bit longer in Shavasana. Otherwise, start to deepen your breath. Moving your fingers and moving your toes. Bring your legs together to touch. Stretch your arms overhead. Interlace your fingers, flip your palms upwards. Point your toes and give yourself a nice, good wake-up stretch. And on your exhale, release. Bend both your knees, slowly rolling over towards your right side for a very short while, resting on your right upper arm. Okay, take your time, push yourself back up to any comfortable seat facing the front with your eyes still closed. You can either keep your hands on your knees or join me in Anjali Mudra with palms together to touch at your heart center. Bringing the awareness back to this present moment on your mat and back to your body by blinking your eyes open very, very slowly. Namaste. Thank you everyone for tuning in. Okay, so today's flow, yeah, we just, it's a little bit different from what we've been doing the past few weeks. It's a full spectrum flow that's a lot more transitions. Okay, so perhaps we'll work on that again next week. Have a great weekend ahead and I will see you soon. Bye. Thank you.